नौ बच्चों आज हम आपको बताएंगे कि ग्रुपिंग ऑफ कैपेसिटर से रिलेटेड न्यूमेरिकल्स को कैसे सॉल्व करेंगे कुछ ट्रिक्स बताते हैं कि हाउ वी कैन सॉल्व द न्यूमेरिकल्स रिलेटेड टू द ग्रुपिंग ऑफ कैपेसिटर्स फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी विल स्टार्ट फ्रॉम ए सिंपल सिंपल अरेंजमेंट ऑफ द कैपेसिटर्स यू सी हियर सपोज दैट दिस वन इज ऑफ कैपेसिटर दिस इज ऑल्सो ए कैपेसिटर से इट इज सी वन एंड इट इज सी टू एंड इट इज वेरी सिंपल कि दिस टू आर कनेक्टेड इन सीरीज कॉम्बिनेशन इन सीरीज कॉम्बिनेशन बिकॉज देयर पोटेंशियल्स आर डिफरेंट सो नो डाउट यर फॉर्मूला विल बी सिंपल कि सी इक्वल टू सी वन सी टू बाय सी वन प्लस सी टू बट वेन अ थर्ड कैपेसिटर इज कनेक्टेड फ्रॉम दिस वन and named as C3. Now the result will be different. The result will be different. So here, now in this case, here we you see here that the potential difference of this C1 and C3 are same. So now here C3 and C1 will be C3 and C1 will be. parallel combination and if we will consider ki c dash is the effective capacitance of c3 and c1 then simply we can say ki c dash equal to c1 plus c3 now it will be the formula now after this this total combination converted into a single capacitor and now this will be named as c dash now finally here c dash and c2 a are in series combination so if say say here ki c equal to effective capacitance of c dash and c2 so these two are in series combination so now formula will be like this ki c equal to c dash c2 by c dash plus c2 in this way we can solve this type of simple problem now we will start another form of problem okay. now we will see another type of combination here you see here this one is c1 and this is c2 and now it is the source of potential suppose that the potential of this plate is v1 and potential of this plate is v2 how we can predict ki this c1 and c2 are in parallel combination or in series combination for this suppose that this the first plate of c1 is connected to the positive terminal of this battery and here is potential is v1 so right here v1 for sake of simplicity now the this wire this wire is connected to the second plate of the c2 so now here also will be potential v1 because of this conducting wire the potential of uh, this plate will be v1 as here now the this v2 will be same for c1 and for c2 now very simple the potential difference of this two plate will be v1 minus v2 v1 is the higher potential and v2 is the lower potential again here potential will be what v1 minus v2 we see here that the potential difference of c1 and c2 are seen so no doubt it is the case of parallel combination or simply you can reconstruct this figure like it this one will be c1 and this one will be c2 and it connected to like in this way and finally you can solve this problem by writing the effective capacitance of this 
two capacitor will be C1 plus C2. Okay. Now I will start a new uh, a new topic on this. Now in this combination we see that we have four capacitors C1, C2, C3, and C4. How we can predict if these all are in series or these all are in parallel combination? For this, we consider here that the potential of this point is V1 and the potential of this point is V2. And now this point is connected to the first terminal of this C2 and this is a conducting wire simply so here also will be potential V1. Similarly, this wire is connected to this part so here also will be V1. And now V2 is for second plate of all three capacitor. So suppose that here is V1, here will be V2, here will be V1, here will be V2, here will be V2, here will be V1. Again, the potential difference of this C1 will be what? V1 minus V2. What will be the potential difference of this C2? V1 minus V2. Again, the potential difference of C3 will be V1 minus V2. Again, we see here the potential difference of these three capacitors are same. So, no doubt these all will be in parallel combination. So, we can reconstruct this figure like this. This will be C1, this will be C2, this will be C3 and the whole is will connected to what? C4. So here C1, C2 and C3 and this will be C4. Now here say if C dash equal to effective capacitance, effective capacitance of C1, C2 and C3. So resultant of these all will be C dash equal to C1 plus C2 plus C3. Now total this C1, C2, C3 is converted into what? C dash. So final figure will be like this. This will be C dash and this will be C4. And finally these two are in series combination. So if C equal to effective capacitance of what? C dash and C4 and these are in series combination. So final formula will be C equal to C dash C4 but as C dash plus C4. In this way we can solve this type of problem. Now. Now we will start new type of combination of capacitors and in this series we have what in this combination we have C1, C2, C3, C4 and C5. How we can solve this type of problem? How do we solve this type of problem? Because this type of problem is what is the clear karenge, ki which one are it series with other which one is parallel to other and it is very difficult so here we will use the concept of Wheatstone breeze suppose that if the ratio of C1 by C2 will be equal to C3 by C4 it is the condition for Wheatstone breeze then we can say that it is balanced breeze it is balanced breeze in this case the potential of B will be same as the potential of D. It means what? The upper part is the, uh, the lower part is the mi mirror image of the upper part. And if the potential of B and potential of D will be same, then potential difference, potential difference across this capacitor will be zero. And this capacitor and there will be no any charge flow through this capacitor and this capacitor will be deactive. So in next figure we will omit this capacitor and finally we will obtain that this C1 and C2 is what in series combination is series combination. This C3 and C4 is are also series combination. Say here if C dash equal to effective 
capacitance of what C1 and C2 and this C1 and C2 are in series combination so value will be C1 C2 by C1 plus C2 now similarly also we can find the effective capacitance of these two capacitor suppose that the C double dash is the effective capacitance of C3 and C4 and C3 and C4 are in series combination so finally we can write C3 C4 by C3 plus C4 now this figure will be converted into in this form now the resultant of C1 and C2 will in turn like this type this is C dash the resultant of C3 and C4 will be like this now here c double dash this figure is very clear is c dash and c double dash are in parallel combination and if c equal to the effective capacitance of c dash and c double dash and these two are in parallel so from formula these two will add up like this and finally we can find the capacitance of the big combination of the capacitor now we will discuss this type of combination okay, in this type of combination how we can solve the effective capacitance how we can find the effective capacitance of these capacitors now this is a conducting wire and connected to point this point 1 and this point say this point is A this point is B this point is C and this point is D. Now it is very difficult to find directly if these two are in series or yeah, these two are in series. No, we cannot say because of this conducting wire. Because if we say here potential is V1, so no doubt this point A and C are connected to a conducting wire, so here potential also will be V1. If we let here, here potential is V2, so now this point B and D are connected with a conducting wire, so again here will be potential V2. Now you use the simple concept, in this plate the potential will be V1 and the potential of this plate will be V2. Now here the potential of this plate will be V2 due to this connection and potential of this plate will be V1 due to this connection. Here, due to this connection potential of this plate will be V1 and due to this connection potential will be V2. Again, we will find here ki the potential difference between these two plate will be V1 minus V2. And here also the potential difference will be V1 minus V2. Here also will be potential difference will be V1 minus V2. Again, we see that here ki the potential of all the capacitors are same. So, no doubt it is the concept of parallel combination and directly we can say you know these whole combination are in parallel combination and easily you can draw like this type of figure you say and this will be what parallel combination this will be c1 c2 and c3 and you say that if c equal to effective capacitance of C1, C2 and C3 then finally formula say we can write here K C1 plus C2 plus C3 easily we can find value so now it is the very easy concept to find or predict the combination is series or parallel now we will change in this uh, new arrangement uh, now we see that here in this combination we use two capacitor in the conducting wire previously we explained without help of these two capacitors simply with the help of a conducting wire but here we put here c2 in this conducting wire and here c4 now how we can find this combination uh, yeah how we can predict this combination are in series or parallel so suppose so please count the number of capacitance first c1 c2 c3 c4 and c5 we have five types of capacitors so now 
now here c5 disturbed disturbed to predict the whole arrangement is in series combination and in parallel combination no doubt it is the case of wheat stone breeze now here similarly here the ratio of the capacitance c1 and c2 will be equal to c3 by c4 so in this case the whole arrangement or breeze will be in balance in balance case the potential of this point a and potential of this point b so these two points potential will be same so now potential difference across this capacitor will be zero and there will be no flow of any charge through it so this c5 will be active so we omit this c5 after omitting we obtain that we obtain that and it is very easy to see that ki here c2 and c3 c2 and c3 are in series combination and c1 and c4 are in also series combination let c dash equal to effective capacitance of what c2 and c3 or these two are in series combination so formula will be c2 c3 by c2 plus c3 also we have c double dash equal to effective capacitance of c1 and c4 so the result will be c1 c4 by c1 c4 c1 plus c4 and now we have mainly two capacitor c1 dash and c double dash so this figure will converted into a very simple figure like this now here will be this will be c dash and this will be c double dash now from figure it is very clear that ki okay, now these two are in parallel combination so if c equal to resultant of resultant resultant capacitance of the combination then the due to the parallel combination the effective capacitance will be c dash plus c double dash and finally in this way we can solve this type of problem next day and in next video i will explain the different types of configuration of capacitance and how we can easily solve such type of problems which is yeah which are very difficult thank you